Hello, Miss Amanda. I'm going to do your reading. Well, technically, I'm going to do two for you. One's going to be the six ways, and then the other one's going to be the Celtic Cross. Both clarifying, of course. So, no worries. So. Okay, so you gave me s some information, but I'm just going to disregard that and, like, go with whatever is going on. Hmm. What if you say, like, something's lessening up because someone had some regrets about some sort of fight somewhere? Or someone was being a little bit manipulative, or someone was being just... A a tad bit dickish. Just a little bit too much on the caviar side of life, right? Like, just stuck with themselves, I guess. And... Someone is feeling like a... Like... Oh, scorned? It's... She's just basically like taking whoever she can out. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, this is a scorned woman. And she wants everyone to bleed. Like, she's very indecisive, so it doesn't even matter if you did anything wrong. She's still just gonna. Like, you know, I stab people, you know? Alright? She's not happy. About some sort of relationship situation. Yeah, that could be jealousy. Maybe she's highly critical. Oh my god, sir! That is horrible! I think you could at least fart to cover up that smell. Like, Jesus. Sorry, my cat's, like, pooed in his box. <laughs> okay. No way I'm just... Alright, let's see what this first one has for you. So, first we got, like... You feel like you're really stuck in a situation you can't get out of. Like, Eight of Swords reversed. But... You could also mean communications-wise, well, like, you're stuck in a scenario you really can't get out of, or... You don't think there's a way to manipulate it out. Which there is, it's just really chaotic and it's hard to navigate. Because, you know, the swords are growing out of the ground. It's not like you can't just rub against one and, like, get yourself through it. It's just a lot more awkward because you're upside down, too. And, you know, eventually gravity will take over and you might land on one of those swords, you might not. And I guess it's all up to you mentally. With what you're wanting, like, or wishing for. God. Two seconds, because I gotta get this litter box before I pass out. I only keep feeding you because I love you. That's the only reason you're here. You're not gonna leave that in it, are you? Probably. Wow. Well, that's what he gets for shitting in the box and never covering it up, so. <laughs> Alright, so. What you're wishing for? I don't know if you're, like, wishing to get out of a situation that's, like, possibly financially draining. Or. Or if there's, like, an illusion of being a tad bit bougie, like, trying to keep up with the Joneses. Like, you didn't train that bird to have an apple on its head, you just nailed it to its head, and, like, everyone thinks it's alive. It even goes cuckoo on the clock twice a day. I'm not entirely sure. What you're afraid of? Like, there's no calmer waters with six of swords, like... You're afraid that, like, 
things aren't calming down and you might have to leave or someone might have to leave in a situation. Like there are two people here and here's the ferryman carrying them over. The waters where they're at are just like la la la, but the waters all the way over here are nice and calm. Could be somebody's just ready to be done with everything. What's going on around you? Something didn't get completed with the world reverse? Like either a cycle did end right or something needs re like a redo or it need it, it like it didn't get complete right. Kind of like a slinky. When you slink it too much, it starts getting those weird knots in it. Kind of like that. Like maybe things did end, but they didn't end the right way, or they didn't end in a fashion that was really complete. Like it's some sort of sort of cycle, and that's why you're kind of feeling like you're stuck in a situation. You're not really sure how you're going to deal with it properly. What's what's going against you? The Emperor Reverse, it could be an Aries, but it could be somebody a little bit out of control. Either they're being way too kind, or they're being kind of mean with being in control of things, or like they're out of control with their control. You know, like, either they're trying too hard to be in charge of everything, or they just don't have any power at all that makes them feel kind of like, eat it, right? Excuse me, sir. Sorry. Yeah. Hmm. Like what? You already feel like you're stuck as it is, and now like here's this person, this Aries, possibly who's a little bit out of control. And now someone's going somewhere in order to get like to a more calmer region to the point where they could actually clear their head and think instead of dealing with all like the waters being all like la 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 mind you uh water represents emotions that's why these are wavy while those over there are not so emotions are kind of running high where they're traveling and these people are trying to get somewhere where the emotions won't be where these waters are still and someone could be like verbalizing that or somebody could be thinking that too but it's in the fear so and the final result in all this is happiness probably with a kid somewhere in the mix someone's trying to get their happiness or someone's trying to deal with happiness and that requires possibly leaving a turbulent situation Like, you know, you're already kind of stuck with the Eight of Swords Reverse, and this is obviously someone who's out of control, and that's why you're moving on, but it's also leaving everything incomplete. I don't know if you want to go about things the hard way, or if you're expecting some sort of financial burden with all of this, but it, it seems like that's what you want, or maybe you're not paying attention to the hubris and now look at you you're just trying to get your happiness back with the beginning theme being about three of wands you're trying to give in what you give out so trying to focus on that a little bit maybe you're trying to be fair maybe you're trying to worried about whether or not you should keep investing in this situation because you're waiting for your ships to come in or you set them out and see what's coming back to you. Hmm. Just a story so far, I have to say.
Good. Glenn just dropped out. Ah, uh, be trying to work on it. Probably you're putting a lot of investment in it. Eight of Pentacles. You're either trying to get distracted in that work to get to the city back here, or you're trying to get something worked on. Or you could be distracting yourself on purpose, you know, because there's the devil. <clears throat> Just saying. Clarification on this eight of swords reverse where you feel like you're really stuck and you don't know where to turn. Yeah, I don't know. That, that's just how it's supposed to be according to the Wheel of Fortune. Like, you might feel stuck now, but eventually it's going to start moving because it's upright. So you're not exactly stalled. It's just... That's just where you're going with it right now. Like, you're not going anywhere. But that's going to get you where you need to go. Whether or not that makes any sense is up to you, I reckon. With this nine of pentacles reverse, where you're, I can't really tell if it's like... You're wanting a financial burden? Or you're... Spe like, I'm not... Oh! <clears throat> Because someone's imbalanced and kind of like on the verge to just fight for the sake of fighting. Like, possibly cancer, that's the chariot reverse. Like, is someone making themselves broke just to f fight a fight? Without really looking at like the end goal and being like, okay, what am I fighting for? Like, what is this fighting going to get me? Like, that hasn't even crossed their mind. They're just like... I want to punch somebody in the head. My name's Jeff. That kind of scenario, right? Like, like they're being very sensitive while being insensitive, almost. Especially in regards to this money situation, I feel like. But it's just like they're just continuing on fighting, but they don't really, they aren't really aiming for a goal or to win anything. They're just. Fighting endlessly, and it's causing, like, a financial, like, issue. It's causing someone to turn, like, not as fancy or as luxurious as they used to be. With this fear about somebody possibly moving on to calmer waters, because this is just emotional turbulence right here. Because someone was being really sneaky and they got caught up. Huh. <laughs> I hear someone moving in the calmer waters and look at someone's just looking back like, eh, where are you going? Like, like someone's gonna try to sneak away, but they get caught right in the middle of the act, almost. But that's a fear. It, it, I mean, that's not actually a thing that's gonna happen. That's just maybe something imagined. Doesn't mean it'll actually happen. Doesn't mean it'll actually be communicated. Doesn't mean that, like, all of this is possible. This is just a probable fear latent somewhere. That someone wants to get away, but they're gonna get caught, like, right then and there, I guess. I don't know what that means, but it's whatever. Oh my god, I have like a crazy itch in my ear. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Like, trump cards so far. So, like, be advised. They're important. At least to me, anyway. You can disregard that, but, like, that's just how I see it. Um, with this world card reverse, where there might not be a cycle ended or something didn't get finished correctly. Oh, cuz, yeah, okay, um, I 
Well, that sucks. Someone was stabbed in the back. And, and like, it's upside down with the world, too. And it's like... Something didn't get completed correctly, and now, like, someone is just laying on top of the swords rather than the sword just being in their back, right? Like, yeah, it hurt and you want it to end, but at the same time, it's just like, I could probably dig this a little bit deeper to get people to notice me. Or notice some sort of situation. Like, this, to me, like, it could almost also say that it's like... Someone showing off their wounds to get support, too, like... That sympathy that people go for. That emotional reaction, I guess. Like, it could also be one of those, too. And I feel like that was part of it. Like, someone ended it the wrong way on purpose just so they could, like, get bragging rights. But that's why somebody's also stuck, and that's the way it's supposed to be, too. So that could be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be you. It could be someone you're dealing with, too, but it's like... Like, this could also mean they're trying to get out of the situation where stuff wasn't closed off right, but it's like, I don't know. I want to think it ended wrong. Something ended not the right way on purpose and now the wheel's spinning with that action right <laughs> then we got the emperor reverse where someone's kind of out of control probably an aries oh and they're lying <laughs> like they got a lie like wait what's the fucking lie like he's out of control and he's not saying something honestly and that's where this financial stuff and this endless fighting comes from. Huh. There's this final result with the son. Probably dealing with someone's kid or whatever. Since he's down here. It could be a page, pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, where there could be some disappointment involved with it. Like, there's happiness, but, like, it comes at the hand of disappointment, too. Like, I like to call the Page of Pentacles an idiot, because that's all he produces. He doesn't produce anything useful. He tries. He tries to adapt. He just can't. It's almost like, what'll make, what'll be your happiness if it's not giving you what you want? It could be someone's kid, because there's a kid right here, just writing... Broke back on a freaking horse for no reason. Like, I don't understand why the horse doesn't have a saddle. I figured that would hurt. It's whatever, it's not my kid. Anyway, yeah, this could be someone's kid right here, and that could be their happiness, but I don't know if that's nothing but disappointment for them either. Like, all they're getting handed is disappointments? With the ending theme being strength, possibly Leo's card. Right? Someone would have the strength to keep, uh, waiting for their ships to come in, or put out their ships for whatever result. So you're feeling stuck. But that's how it's supposed to be according to fates, because the wheel's still turning, even though you feel like you can't do anything. Even though there's this emperor against you, who's not really coming out with the truth, and someone could be moving from raging waters to calmer waters, but there might also be a chance that they might get caught doing it, too. And then we got this world situation where I feel like it wasn't ended right on purpose. Now someone's trying to suck that up. And that definitely deals with uh, the lover's reverse and disunion, a breakup somewhere. Right? Possibly Gemini in there somewhere. But 
could have been soulmate. Um, something didn't work out between people, right? And because, like, someone, I feel like, didn't end it right on purpose. Like, someone is fighting. Oh my god, kitties. Someone is fighting without really thinking about the goal or how it's balancing them out. It's leaving them a little bit, you know, financially strapped. And then like, this happiness just ends up handing out disappointment with the Page of Pentacles from the sun. Like, I can't tell if, like, someone's lying about this financial situation or they're lying about why they're fighting. But there might be news coming out of it. It could be good news. There could be news of travels with the Page of Wands. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. It's also over here too, so that's possible. Whoa. You okay, kitten? Yeah, she's down there doing some shit. Oh, and someone really doesn't want to think about somebody taking off in a sneaky nature, and this situation with this sun and the page of pentacles reversed. Just disappointing. Someone really doesn't want to take the time to think about it. So that's that. So we're going to go to the Celtic cross for you. I feel like I can't pronounce C's today. Oh, God, that hurt. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be gross. And don't worry, I'm trying to find the cards I pull for this one too, so... I'd almost try to line them up over here, but I already know it won't work out too well. Plus this camera doesn't zoom out that far. definitely ready to go. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries are ready to move, to take adventure, to take action, to do some shit. Right? Great. You didn't turn it over, so you don't count. You did. Uh, someone needs to weigh on a decision they're trying to avoid a little bit, too, I think. Oh! There's another one turned over, I didn't even notice. And someone might be isolating themselves. Not in, like, the hermit figure yourself out way, but more in, like, the manic to clinical depression kind of way where you don't want to be around anyone you're keeping to yourself a little too much that's not good hope that isn't you because that wouldn't be good for you hey kitten what you doing you're sitting there talking silent shit to your brother oh god Oh, here is the King of Wands. I like to say that they're Leo because Leos are the king and why not? Could also be a Leo, oh, no, not Leo, Aries or Sagittarius, someone who's sitting on the throne acting fair, might be a little bit strict, but they have good judgment, they're trustworthy, they know what they're supposed to be doing, they wear a gigantic golden robe because it looks good with their crown because fuck you, I'm the king, right? They don't care if they if you make fun of their hat, and just cut your head off. 
or beat you with a stick. No whammies. All right, so Celtic, we got you as oh, you're having trouble sleeping. Okay, that's pretty harsh to begin with. That's how you are right now. What's crossing you objectively is that there's a big old burden you're dealing with, right? And what you crowns you, and what you know objectively about this burden, it's about giving and receiving in this. The foundation of the situation. You've been putting in and you're waiting to see if you should harvest or if you should wait a little bit longer. See what fruit you bear or let that fruit get a little bit fatter and juicier. The passing influence that's fading away is the Wheel of Fortune and that showed up in the other spread I did for you previously, so... Good deal. That's passing. It's been faded, so that portion of fate's possibly moving on. What's coming within the next six months to a year is the King of Swords, possibly a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Could be you or someone else cutting through some bullshit to get straight to the truth. He's not putting up with nothing. He's literally got a sword ready like, I'm not the queen. And I, and, and I, I listen, but I don't care for your lies, right? Mind you, this is Sagittarius energy, that drive, that moving force that, hey, look, there's an adventure. Like, the wheel is turning, and what crosses it is this burden, and now all of a sudden someone's coming for the truth. So, between this movement and fate and this burden, and the King of Swords, how you're feeling about yourself right now? Temperance Reverse is the Sagittarius' card. Um, there's not a lot of patience. And, you know, with Sagittarius, I like to say, like, they were, like, three-year-old toddlers having the biggest fit. They say the meanest things ever, and they don't mean to because they don't think about it. They're just frustrated, and they whine, and it's like, oh my god, just here, just shut up. You know, it, it's one of those things where, like, someone isn't willing to compromise. Someone doesn't want to deal with any more of the bullshit, and, like, they're just not... Like, someone doesn't want to come to an agreement of any sorts. Like, a, a lot of lack of patience here. I think you told me your birthday, but I don't remember what it is. So, like, I'll probably look at it later after this. Um, what? <laughs> your whole life is, like, the tower. Because <laughs> someone ran out of patience, and someone's looking for the truth behind the BS. Uh, someone's gonna get broke down. So there's a new building to be structured. I don't want to be there. <laughs> what are your hopes and fears? Oh, you're the Queen of Swords again. She's scorned. She's angry and she wants to cut people. Like, you know, her sword is her buddy, but it'd be better if it was her axe. Because then it would go well with the song, you know? And then with the... Final result. Ah, oh, someone's still lying. <laughs> Between the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, someone's still lying in the situation. She's scored, and he's coming for the truth about this bullshit situation. And it's all going to be ahead with this tower. Because someone ran out of fucking patience. Oh my. I'm so glad I'm not there. <laughs> no offense, man. Like, there's something plaguing somebody. That much is clear. Oh, because someone was manipulating and tried to get a battle backhanded and now they're kind of regretting it. Oh, and there's two cards. And now there's like this disunion and someone just wants to be like, I'm done with this. I'm moving on from all of this stuff or whatever. So keep that in mind. Cards are really, really fussy, but I haven't used them a lot often. I use them for more of the moon, so that's fair. I don't blame them for holding the grudge. I'm so used to being touched every day, and I 
see the world without them. Like, I'm not sure what's going on in this portion of your little reading, but it's kind of like emulating what the other one was. Like, like, you know, this is like a coming of truth movie where someone can, like, disregard what was destroyed or build on top of what was destroyed into something new. And I'm not sure what that means for you. Mind you, I'm reading ahead from what uh, I read before. Like the previous reading, that's like current. This one's more like looking into what, a possible scenario. The most likely one. The, the highest probability, I reckon. From the point of time which I started this, right? So, don't get too in your feelings if I'm hitting something that's going to bother you later on, right? Just keep it in the back of your head. Don't let it fester in there. Because then it'll start, like, smelling funny and such. Because I might be completely freaking wrong in all this, you know? Should have told you that from the beginning, but I f totally forgot like an asshole. So my bad. Ooh. Here's the devil reverse. Someone's keeping themselves in a predicament because they're getting something out of it. Someone could be overindulging and like. able to do that because they have an access somebody else doesn't have to. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh. Two. We got is someone not really producing anything but bullshit feelings and this could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces and this person over here could be a Taurus who's excommunicating the fuck out of people. Because, you know, they aren't being honest with their feelings or whatever. Or maybe they aren't being as upfront as they should be. And maybe it's not excommunication as much as it is, like, being stricter on rules, I reckon. Depending on how you want to look at that interpretation. Like, there might be things that you just don't know yet. Oh my god. Ow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and the things you don't know might be the bonded situation. It's kind of odd. Devil usually doesn't show up that often in readings. At least not more than once. Oh, heartbreak. Just so you know. Did someone like trying to avoid a heartbreak situation and that's why they're in bondage. That's why they're keeping itself in a situation because they want to avoid something. Oh my god, no. Okay, I'm done. Okay, so this is the last one and then I'm just cutting the cards and being done. Okay, so... Someone's waiting for your ships to go in or come out about a situation where there's a backstab but they want to be on top of things or you're taking advantage of that backstab. No whammies. And I no longer could breathe through my nose. Outstanding. Okay. So, with this Nine of Swords where someone really isn't getting a lot of rest, they are, they're, they're like almost staying up at night with the whole issue. Past memories, past traumas. Something to do with like history, even childhood, as far back as that, but nostalgia at its core. And what crosses it with the burden is the star, possibly Aquarius. Someone might be trying to heal somebody. 
or do a healing process, or someone could be trying to steal from somebody else. Yeah, replace one thing with another and think nobody will notice, or it'll work. The exchange will work. Usually the star is like healing, though, or even communications trying to water this with the water brought in from here, but I don't know why they're pouring the water back, but it could be going back into the pot. Aquarius is weird like that. <laughs> so with this six of pentacles where there's a balance being called for, either this dude needs to give more than this guy over here because he's giving all this change, or this guy right here is the one who's begging from a man who's got enough and he just hasn't gotten his attention yet. For abundance, a happy ending. Someone's trying to give and receive in order to get this happiness right here, this family unit, this joy, this abundance, this... Yay! Everything is perfect. Like, happily ever after, right? The foundation of the situation where someone was investing in seeing if they should go ahead and cut their harvest or should let it grow more, they were feeling victorious in what they were putting in. Okay. The fading influence, which is this Wheel of Fortune, which is Sagittarian energy saying that like things are going to progress now. Oh, with this fighting. Like, we're moving past all of this like fighting with the chariot, possibly cancer, where someone's just fighting. They're not trying to gain balance. They're not trying to get a goal. They're just arguing and trying to go into fights, but not really trying to finish them, not even trying to, like, win anything. So this is going to pass. And what's coming in the f next six months to a year with this coming influence, which is this King of Swords, right? Eight pages of swords reverse. I feel like this is, like, either the same person or two different people, like, emulating something, but it's like, this person is paranoid. They're afraid people are coming out to get them. Or people are against them all of a sudden, like... Like, straight paranoia. Like, someone's coming looking for the truth because they're straight, like... Freaked out and being like, people are coming against me. I'm gonna hold this sword up and the first motherfucker to tell me hi, I'm just hacking their head off. And it's gonna be simple. Done. <laughs> What's this temperance? <laughs> Reverse, or someone's not having the patience. Could be a Sagittarius, right? They're just not having it. They don't even want to work anything out. This could be bad reputation, bad status. Something even to do with work, but it's just like it's not working. It, it's turning sour. It, it's not helping anything. This person's losing the patience and the want to compromise in this situation. The tower and what's going on in your home life. It's breaking down so you can start a new journey because someone's acting paranoid and there's no reason to work out with this paranoid fucker. <laughs> Whoever this is, I have no idea. But it's kind of cracking me up to see someone like... Like, this person is completely like... I, I want to say unstable, right? Like, they're moving forward and they're fighting without actually looking at what they're fighting for. And the bridge to that is this is healing process it, with a star and then it goes to someone acting like a paranoid jerk look coming out looking for the truth past all the bullshit because they think people are coming against them which causes this temperance down here how you feel about yourself to not even want to work this shit out and you want to begin a new journey after this foundation's crumpled that's our complete building's gone you have the opportunity to start something new and you want to start something new Going elsewhere. You even got a little dog. Like, go on the adventure, man. You get a dog. In your hopes and fears. This Queen of Swords who's heartbroken, who's scored, who... Just wants to cry while she murders people mer mercilessly in the street because she's so heartbroken. She wants a brand new beginning. She wants a new heartfelt, emotional beginning. And that kind of goes with the full, too. Like, you know, there might be a new emotional start. There might be new emo there might be a new emotional connection. You're just ready to open your heart up and be like, here's this cup. 
doves feed at like cross wafers and like water just pours out the rim and the hand in the sky is like so smoky and look at there are lily pads where ducks and frogs can sit on like I'm ready I'm ready to just be like oh you know and <laughs> oh and the ending result with this lie is once again the devil reversed that's three times three at least from what I can count where someone is keeping themselves in a bonded situation because they're getting something out of it and it's based on a lie. Well, at least I know why he was coming up so much. He's just like, notice me, senpai. Just like a freaking Capricorn too, and this is Capricorn's card, by the way. Which is kind of funny because can that Cancer's reverse too. But yeah, like <laughs> such a Capricorn thing to do. Just be like, look at me from the very distance, and just peek in every once in a while, just to get a motherfucker's nerves. We could get like three or four cards, and then we'll be done with this, okay? And then you tell me whatever. Ugh. We got the first one being Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, King of Cups. Someone who's very involved with their emotions, who's able to deal with their emotions accordingly and also reflect and look on other people's emotions. Very intuitive. Kind of a suck ass. <laughs> Might be emotionally stubborn too, if he really feels like it, but overall he's a pretty decent person. Uh, talk to him about anything, I feel like. Second card I got for you. Ah. Well, I have two now because I looked at the other one. We got Death Reverse and The Hermit. Two trump cards, as well as like the Chariot and the Devil, of course, and the Fool. But that's beside the point. Um, these two together, like, someone needs to get in tune with their emotions and realize that there might not be a change coming with somebody and someone might actually have to go on the hermit adventure on their own to figure some stuff out and last card is because there's gonna be a lot of freaking fighting <laughs> but i i feel like that was already well known but yeah this is and this is not even like fighting for real like with the five of wands it's more along the lines of they're really not swinging the sticks at each other as much as they are showing how powerful they look with those sticks. It's about uh, fighting between politics, nobility, making yourself seem more than what you are. Kind of like you're fighting for show rather than actual substance. Not actually... fighting for a reason. Let's pick one more. Just out of random. Ah. Because there's nothing of worth to offer. <laughs> that makes sense, though. Like, fighting for the sake of fighting because there's nothing of value being given, I feel like. Or, it's just a delayed, extremely slow-moving gift being brought. To all these people involved, because he's facing all of them, right? Alright, so that's what I got for you, sweetheart. I hope it helps you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.